Good afternoon, everyone. This is Monique Lee from Afternoons with Monique, and you're on Rainier Avenue Radio. Today, I have the pleasure to invite two of my associates, Victoria Bonda and Isabel Pfeiffer, on my show. We're wrapping up a very difficult year with COVID and uh, everything that is changing all around us. Your school uh, is remote and you are interning a lot of your work remotely as well. But first, I'd like to introduce you to the audience. So Victoria, can you tell our audience a little bit about your background, where you're from, and how long you've been living in Washington? Yeah, so I grew up here, but my family is from Russia originally. And I went to Russian school, so I know how to speak and write in Russian. Um, but I grew up in Bothell area most of my life. And now I'm in University of Washington studying media and communication. And I happened to meet Monique and became her intern for social media and marketing. Well, how about you, Isabel? Tell us about you. Um, well, my name is Isabel Pfeiffer. I was born and raised in San Antonio, Texas, and my family decided to move to Spokane, Washington during my senior year of high school when I was 17. Um, since I was in Washington, I decided to apply to University of Washington. Now I study psychology and linguistics. Well, it's a very difficult year with lots of challenges, but I feel like there is some good things that came out of it. And this is the last episode, by the way, of the year, everyone. Uh, episode 25. So Afternoons with Monique have been running for 25 episodes as of now. Um, yay. <laughs> yay. I, I've enjoyed it so much. And uh, we're wrapping up this show. I was going to have some of the guests, uh, you know, uh, c come on and, you know, but everybody's so busy. So I thought my two associates at Seattle Love Broker and intern uh, would be the perfect um, guest to come on the show and share with us their experience with school um, and, and also with their work and interning. So Victoria, we work at Seattle Love Broker, which is a dating and relationship consulting company. Um, tell the audience what your experience has been like during the pandemic with dating? I would say my experience has been, I guess a little challenging because you need to put in a lot of more effort and be more innovative with date ideas and making sure you have date nights, even though there's a shutdown. So it's a new time to have Learn new ways. Yeah. like have wholesome ideas like cooking with your partner it's right a, get to know yeah, each other exactly yeah mm -hmm. i think that is a very interesting and very important point because i you're right we have to uh, figure out different ways to connect with our partner and uh you know just hanging out and getting to know what the other person is doing and thinking um I think, you know, especially the early stage of relationship, I think a lot of people um, tend to get, they get together in person, they get physical maybe a little bit too fast and didn't have a chance to allow the relationship to progress in its natural pace. And now we ha we're forced to slow down uh -huh. and get to know the other person, what's in his heart and what's in his mind, right? And I love that. Yeah. How about you, Isabel? I know that you have a long-term boyfriend who lives uh, in another state. So how do you guys stay in touch and keep the love alive? Yeah, I th definitely think it's interesting because during the pandemic, a lot of other couples are sort of experiencing what a long distance couple fe um, faces on a regular basis. Um, with not being able to see each other. Uh, so usually when we are a long distance, he's in Texas and I'm in Washington and we see each other every two months, pretty much um, we'll fly to each other. And usually we would only be able to see each other during a holiday break, maybe for a week or on a weekend for two days. And so because of that, all of our uh, time together would be very fast paced, activity oriented, and it wouldn't be regular old living. It would always be something very adventurous. 
But right. since the pandemic hit, it was surprising to me that one positive outcome is that we were able to spend more time together because I wasn't forced to stay in Washington. I could study while I was in Texas. So I was able to stay with his family during quarantine for four months. And mm -hmm. during that time, we were just able to relax and have coffee together in the morning and cook together and enjoy all the little things in life. Well, thank you for joining Seattle Law Broker and Afternoons with Monique Victoria Bonda and Isabel Pfeiffer. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Happy New Year, everyone. It's fun.